Good evening. You've reached the Vladcast program, and I'm your host, John Hill. This is Father Gregory. Father. John, great to be with you tonight. Same. Thank you. We're going to talk about November, and then we won't even stop for a minute. We're going to roll on into December. I think that's good. It's a busy time of year. Lots, lots of stuff going on. So I, I hear we will have a visitor soon. We are going to have a visitor? You mean at the end of December? You mean Santa? Ah, uh, not that visitor. No, not that I guy. See. Not that guy with the beard. Not I the see. guy with the beard. Yes, yes, we have Archbishop Peter coming, and that's great. Um, it's always a really important time, I think, for the parish when, when the bishop visits, and it's a, it's a great time for us all to come together. And um, the, the bishop being the successor of the apostles, it's important for everyone uh, who is able to do that to prepare themselves to go to confession, to go to communion, to participate as much as they can in the services. So I'm You like that saying, when uh, the parishioners go to communion when the bishop comes? Yeah, I think it's appropriate. It looks good for you, too. Well, I never... I suppose it does, but that's not the reason. Because I think it's really... The bishop's visit, it gives us the opportunity to sort of engage the church on a slightly different level. For instance, there'll be an ordination priest can't do an ordination, but we'll have a deacon's ordination. God willing, uh, Dmitry Koshenko will be made a, a deacon to serve at St. Vladimir's. So that really, that particular sacrament is not something that we get to engage in very often. And so that's that's something I think very special. So the, the visit of a bishop is always something really special, and I think that it's good for people, if at all possible, to partake of the Holy Mysteries on that visit. All right, so we're getting a new... Deacon. Yep. Can you talk a little bit about that? I thought we had a deacon. We do have a deacon, and it's good to have a deacon, and we're, we're, we're happy to have a deacon. Uh, but at the same time, uh, Dima is in seminary. He's taking classes. Um, you know, he's he's been preparing himself, really, since he was made a subdeacon a few years ago. So I think he's really ready, okay. uh, and the bishop uh, agrees. And so, at least for a time, we'll have two deacons. Level up. Yep. And I think what do you mean a, for a time? You mean we'll lose one of our deacons? Well, one of them could always move up, could always become a priest. Wow. So then that's, that's that's the natural progression. Yeah, and that's not a bad thing either. Okay. So, but I think it's it's nice right now. I think we have the luxury of having Father Vladimir, who's an excellent deacon, and he can help. He's been helping to prepare Dima. I mean, honestly, he's been carrying most of the, the load there, and he'll help him learn how to serve. And so it's really nice to where one can help the other. And so I think it's a good time for us and for our parish. And, uh, yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm excited, too. So that's November. Or is there anything else worthwhile in November, Father? In November. I can't recall. Oh, yeah. Well, I, the week after... Uh, Dimitri's ordination will have liturgy every day. That's something pretty special for the parish. Will we have um, uh, vigil every day too? Yeah, we will at 6 o'clock we'll have evening services. I, I think that one day we don't, which is probably Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving or the day of Thanksgiving. One of those days, but it's on the schedule. Wait, liturgy on Thanksgiving Day? Yeah, which well, is that's perfect, great, isn't yeah. it? I mean, I... We aren't always here on Thanksgiving, so we have never really been able to establish a regular liturgy. But, I mean, the Eucharist Eucharist means Thanksgiving. So, I mean, what's the perfect time to have, have a liturgy? So I think it'll be really nice. Um, I will be away. Father Andrei Alexeyev will be here to serve, which is great, too. Uh, so Father Andrei, who was the rector at uh, the cathedral for, for many years in, in, in Ferndale. Wait a minute. Where are you going to be? I have to go to Cincinnati for Thanksgiving. You have to? Yeah. We have, well... It would be bad if I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, it would be bad. All right, if I we'll didn't. miss you, this Father. Family things, but I'll be there for almost the whole week. I'll miss uh, Thanksgiving and Friday, but Father Andrea will cover that, and then we come back Saturday for that deanery. Uh, okay, deanery. I guess that's okay. Okay, thank you. We'll let you go. Thank you. Um, lots of services then in the mm -hmm. the week of uh, Thanksgiving week. Yeah. And um, nothing else in November. It would be. I would are there be, any good saints? There are a lot of good saints. Oh my Name gosh, a couple. John. Well, let's start with uh, Saint Michael and all the angels, which is in that week. So we would have a liturgy that day anyway. But uh, it's a Tuesday this year, and we have a lot of Michaels in the parish. Uh, in fact, we had two new Michaels come on Sunday. Just just Sunday alone, two new people came. Wait, last Michael. week two yeah. Michaels showed up. Exactly, and it's close Did to you the have feast any of warning the that you would get? No, but that's great. Huh. That's what we like. So, and we have also some 
already existing Michaels. Uh, we have some Raphaels. Um, we we have Gabriellas. We have Gabriel. So it's, it's, it's is there a is there a life of this Michael Saint Michael? There is, and actually, I will publish that uh, in probably in this week's bulletin. It's really a nice explanation of Saint Michael. Where did he come from? How did he lead, lead the angels in their struggles? And then it also lays out the nine ranks of angels that Saint Dionysius the Areopagite. Uh, wrote mm -hmm. for the church. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a very interesting piece. I think people find that very interesting. Uh, we interact with the with the archangels generally, mm -hmm. uh, but there's eight other ranks of angels, thrones, principalities, powers, so on and so forth. And I think it's a very nice uh, thing. We do that every year. So we'll put that in this week's bulletin. And I think it'll be really interesting for people. That kind of gives a little substance to the uh, appellation Lord of Hosts. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Which seems kind of an old-fashioned sort of, like more Old Testament. Yeah, it does, but it's, I don't know. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I, Yeah. So anyway, two thumbs up from my side. And um, yeah, so look for that in this week's bulletin. And uh, if for some reason you missed this week's bulletin, just send me an email. I'll be happy to send it out to anybody who'd like to, to, to look at it. Super. Good. Okay. And then, wait, are we going to have turkey? Yes, we are. We are having turkey this year. Uh, Lent does not begin until, uh, I think, the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. So it, it, we're, we're well within. Mm. So you can even make a have big turkey. Have the leftovers. Right, which is the best part. You can make All a big right. turkey this year. But Tuesday, huh? Mm -hmm. We start fasting. Mm -hmm. And what's the reason again? We're preparing for Nativity of the Lord. Uh, and this is a... One of the longer fasting periods, this one's 40 days, uh, but it is not super strict in character. We don't eat meat or dairy products, but there's a lot of fish uh, allowed during this fast. So from a culinary point of view, it's not super strict. However, we decided uh, this year, we, people have been talking to me about this for several years. Could we add some more weekday services to the Lenten periods outside of Great Lent? Because during Great Lent, there's a lot going on in the week weekdays. But outside, not so much. So this year, we're going to add a few extra services, and those have been posted on the website, and we're uh, asking people to sign up to help lead those services, to read or sing okay. at the services. And it's an opportunity for people to engage a little bit more during the week if they have the opportunity. I'm sorry. My heart just gave a little flutter for a minute there. I thought you said we're going to add cheese. but uh, no, not That this, wouldn't happen. No, would no, 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 no cheese. But that's okay. Uh, this one... The, this Lenten period, it's almost, you know, like a good preparation for Great Lent, which doesn't come, which yep. begins not too much after... Definitely uh, need practice for that one. Exactly. So I think it's good. They, they sort of come together. We've been in this really long period of not having a, a fasting period, all the way from the end of uh, August until end of uh, November. I and haven't heard too many people come by. Well, not too many, but this... I have had a few people come to me and say, you know, I'm ready to begin ah. again. Um, so I, I think it's a really nice time of year. We're preparing for the for the feast. We have Saint John of Damascus falls in this Lenten period every year, Always. and it's a Sunday this year. Um, so and Sava and Barbara, yeah, and Saint Nicholas, exactly. and the whole gang. That's a big week. And after that is Saint Ambrose, actually, the day after Saint Nicholas of, of uh, Milan. Milan yeah. Some great. But we're not saints. done with November yet. Let's Father. let's finish. November I've heard, first. I've heard this nativity fast. Referred to as St. Philip's fast. Yes. Philip the, the apostle. apostle. Correct. Why don't we ever talk about St. Philip? You know, that's a good question. We probably should. And I, I, we should probably serve that day, actually. Since the fast is commonly called Philip's fast, it, be, it, it begins on his day. Uh, you got two deacons. I mean, it's, Exactly, exactly. Or you will. Um, well, we'll look at that. Maybe we'll even manage to squeeze that in uh, if we get the blessing from, from the right people. But... Um, it is a really nice Lenten period. A lot of things happen during this time of year. In a way, it's a, a greater struggle for us even than Great Lent just because all of the partying and everything that's happening in the world around us. Um, but I think that it's it's a really nice time for us of reflection. Winter is coming. It's just really a nice... I, I like this Lenten period a lot. And um, the services are beautiful. There's a lot of great saints at this oh, time of year. So yeah. it's, it's just really nice. I don't, I don't agree that it's harder than Great Lent. No? No. I mean, I, I like to just distance myself from all of the craziness and temptation of our uh, Western uh, neighbors, brothers, sisters. During this Lenten period, you yeah. mean? Yeah. Just, I just like to be in my own sort of orthodox world and just let it 
makes makes stuff a lot easier, really. And once Christmas Christmas is over, right. stuff's on sale, you know. So. Well, that's true. That's one of the nice things we get. We always get the Christmas sales. The kids get plenty of Christmas candy, and I like the fact too that that all sort of takes place, and then thirteen days later we have nativity. You know, Christ was yeah. born quietly right. in a manger. You know, with the animals, it was mm -hmm. not a. Mm -hmm. It was he was not born in Times Square. It was not uh, some yeah. kind of. I mean, the angels were singing, and that was a big deal. But it just was a quiet, peaceful, prayerful thing. And I think that our celebration of his incarnation is very, very much like that. And I like that a lot. And now for the most important single event at the parish in November. Guess what it is? I don't know. What do you think? The bake sale. Ah, yes, the bake sale. Which, however, even on the old calendar, still falls in December. Yes. 16th. So mark that on your calendar. Plan to volunteer to help to bake. In fact, as soon as you finish watching this video, I would start Start baking. baking. Yeah, I would. Yes, I know somebody who's already been baking. Yes, I do too. probably at home right now baking. Yes, I know several somebodies who've, who've oh, been yeah. starting. And, and, you know, that's also nice. You know, that the you smells the, are good. The smells are very good. And uh, if the baking begins before Lent, that's always helpful too. Because mm -hmm, you then can you taste can, it. Exactly. Yeah. And somebody has to taste it. So, oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think that's that's really great that, that we're, we're gearing up for that. And uh, that's an important both, I mean, it is a fundraiser and it, it, the sisterhood, it helps the sisterhood from that point of view too, but it's also a missionary thing. A lot of people come to St. Vladimir's for the, for the bake sale and, they, and that's the first time that they're uh, sort of introduced to our parish. So it's a, it's a big deal and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, you're always there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like being there. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy meeting the people and I right. you know people have questions and we can answer their questions. It's really great. And this year... We'll finish the bake sale, put everything away, and begin the vigil for uh, St. John of Damascus. Yeah, the 16th. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then Sunday. Sunday is the feast. So it's, it's great. It, it all comes together very nicely. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Me too. Me too. All right. Um, December. St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas. Oh, we got a kid's... A kids thing. Yep, it's a it's children's literature. Not just sailors and uh, three. Uh, never mind. Yes, sailors, sailors though. Sailors. Children's liturgy. Saint Nicholas. Sailors. Yep. See, so is the patron saint of of the uh, yes of those who are sailors and, and also people who are looking for lost things. Um, not so much patron saint of children. But he he did a lot of helping children who were in a bad situation um, during his lifetime, and also helped with sailors. Also, St. Sergius and Herman are sailors, uh, patron saints of sailors, too. A lot of people don't know that. There's their icon right there. Um, they founded uh, some monasteries? In Valam. Yeah, in Valam. So well, you often know. find their, their icon also oh, in Oh, because the, because the Irish uh, the monk sewn into the... Exactly. Thrown into the water and they landed oh. there. So... Um, but yeah, we have St. Nicholas happening. That's a really big week. I mean, if you think of Saturday the 16th is the bake sale, 17th is Sunday and St. John of Damascus, 18th, St. Sava, the, the sanctified for the Russian church. We got church. a Sava. Yeah, we got a Sava. You and show up too. I, I agree. And for, this, for the Russian church, St. Sava is very important because we use his Tipicon. That's kind of our rule book and how we put the services together. Yeah. Day after that is St. Nicholas. Day after that is St. Ambrose of Milan. Very important. Western saint. saint. Yes, Western saint, but, yeah. but very much very venerated much, yeah. in, in the East also. So some very it's a very big week. A lot of things happening there in a really good week. Yeah, I wouldn't want to miss it. No, me either. That's, that's one of the best weeks of the year, quite honestly. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that, that's a really... December is chock full of, of really interesting uh, saints. Um, the Kursk Icon uh, commemoration falls during that time. There's just a lot of really great things happening. St. Herman, the first, you know, American oh, saint. Oh, that's, that's the 25th of December. Yep, yep. I love St. Herman. Me too. And we ha thank God we have a St. Herman Parish not far from us. So uh, unless the feast falls on a Sunday, in which case mm -hmm. we'd have service at St. Vladimir's, we have it there in Lake Odessa. And, uh, How far is that? About four hours? No, Eight no, hours? no. It's just just west of Lansing. Mm. So it's maybe an hour and a half. I would have to look for it for sure. But it's not from the church, from St. Vladimir's to there, about an hour and a half. So it's not too bad. 
Uh, and it's very nice to be at the second Pascha of a parish when they're mm. celebrating their feast. Now, day. is there an actual, actually a lake there at Lake Odessa? There is. No. Yeah, there's a little lake there. Uh, it has another name too, but anyway, it doesn't matter. The It's a really nice, beautiful little parish, actually, because Father Michael's wife has uh, frescoed there the uh, the icons. It's really beautiful. So very much worth people uh, going if you have the opportunity. A lot of folks have a, a family who are celebrating Christmas that day. Great, mm -hmm. fine, wonderful. But if you if you don't, if you're free, <coughs> highly recommend going to St. Sergius and, or to uh, St. Herman. And if you need a ride, let me know and we'll find a way to get That's you. That's Monday. I think it is. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's get to the end of uh, December. Okay. Oh, uh, new new calendar. Okay. December. Yep. yep. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yeah. Anything of interest in that last week? There are, but I think the to me what's most interesting is on January first, uh, Saint Agliadia and Boniface. Very interesting. Uh, she was, she owned him. He was her slave. Uh, and, uh, but together, uh, But that's not really in old calendar January. No, that's in, that's in old calendar December. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the 17th. No, it's not. Calendar. Let's keep our powder dry. Okay, here. I just want to give people a preview. That's a good one. Okay, preview. St. Boniface and... Agliadia. Agliadia. Sounds Greek. Uh, yeah, it, it does. I think it, it was. It is. Um, but you, you still meet... You know, Bonafati every now and then. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, it's not an unknown name. Um, and somehow I feel like it would be great to have a midnight liturgy that day, but we've never managed to do that. Although folks have asked about a midnight liturgy recently, and I think we're going to try to do one of those in, in December. On civil New Year's Eve? Yeah. Um. But I, we've, we've never quite got to that point, and, and that's okay. Uh, but we will be doing, I think we'll be doing one in December. I'll see the bishop this week and, and ask his blessing. He asked me to do that, but he's supportive of this, so I, I hope... What else are you going to ask him about? Oh, all kinds of good stuff. St. Philip. Yes, St. Philip, that's right. That's the, that would be a way to start the Nativity Fast with a bang. Yes, and you know what I should say about that, too, is uh, in the diocese this year, we're going to serve liturgy at least in one parish every single day of the Nativity Lent. So... Maybe they'll serve in Dallas on one day and serve here the next day and somewhere else the next day. Obviously, we'll all do That's Sundays. That's a lot of coordination. It is, which... You think, thank God. Uh, you think all the parishes are up to it? No one's going to let it down? Somehow? Well, we're just asking for volunteers, and, oh. and, and people are signing up. So uh, I, I think it's really nice that we have that opportunity for our diocese where we'll have liturgy every single day. Mm -hmm. uh, people will be There will be prayers being said for the ill, for the... For the departed uh, every single day and I think that's nice so I'm happy about that and I hope that'll kind of take hold and become a tradition All right. well father it just sounds like there's so many wonderful things happening in the lots parish. of good stuff lots of good stuff thank God very exciting um, so we hope everybody will come out for the bishops uh, visit and for the ordination oh for the ordination we should say something uh, for those who get an opportunity to watch this beforehand. Um, we participate in the ordination as a congregation. You know, we don't, we're not spectators of the liturgy. We're not spectators of the services we participate. But there is a right way and a, and a not right way to participate. Uh, and so we do all sing axios, which means worthy, as the bishop is presenting the, the new candidate. But there's a certain order in which we do that. So. It's in the bulletin, which is online now. Uh, it's also up on the website. It's on the Facebook page, and we'll have it posted at church. So uh, we sort of take turns. So the bishop will say axios, then the clergy and the altar will sing axios, then everyone else will sing axios, and we'll do that several Why times. Why do I think that hasn't happened in the right way? Um, sometimes before. people get... They get carried away? They are excited, excited about the whole thing, which is understandable because the, this grace of the Holy Spirit that descends upon the person who's being ordained. This is rare in the, in the parish, and so uh, sometimes the bishop will say axios and people start to yell back at him, which is not evil or anything like that, but it's good if we try to do all things in, in order if we can, and, and so we publish a little something to help with that. And if anybody has trouble finding it, just send me an email and I'll be happy to, to send it out. So basically, let the bishop say axios, mm -hmm. let the clergy say axios. Right. And then, then if you're not a bishop or a 
ordained uh, clergyman. That's right. You should. Everyone will wait together. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yes, lots of good stuff in December, and yep. don't forget about November. I know November. What we have still a good chunk of November with a we lot of good things. Half, in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a lot of good things in it. So we hope that folks will uh, participate in the services as they're able. Uh, and with the few extra services that we'll be having now with the ordination and with the Lenten period, I hope that folks will get an opportunity to participate in a weekday service. You may have to work during the mornings and not be able to come to liturgy, but maybe you'll get to come to some of the evening services, which are very beautiful and prayerful. I'm sure they will, mm -hmm. Father. Yep. And I'm too. sure they will tune in next time, right away, to hear about St. Agladia and Bonifus. See you next time on Gladcast. I'm your host, John Hill. This has been Vladcast with Father Gregory. See you next time.